Well, good morning, beloved, and happy Monday. God loves you, my friend. God loves you. And may God bless you today with wisdom and with love. Those two always are seen together in the scripture. And this week, I would like for us to spend our time on these little video clips talking about the Trinity from John 14, 15, and 16. You know, the doctrine of the Trinity, that's just called sound doctrine. That word sound in the scripture means healthy. And, and when you're healthy, you are, uh, are walking on firm ground. And we need that firm ground today so that we're not led astray. Many are being led astray and many, the love of many are, are growing cold and with all the things that are happening. But sound doctrine will hold you on firm ground, on solid ground. How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in his excellent work. So here's your assignment for this week. Spend th this week in John 14, 15, and 16, and look primarily at the teaching of Jesus concerning the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Three persons in one God. There's only one God, beloved. But Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Underline, if you write in your Bible, or just take note if you don't, underline, take note of the references to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit in those three chapters. And sometimes it's with personal pronouns. He, or we, uh, or uh, I, as Jesus is talking. And uh, the doctrine of the Trinity is our chief doctrine. It's, it it, it uh, separates us from all other religions in the world that also worship various gods, but no one has the triune God as we do as revealed in Scripture. You know, the great theologian Augustine, Augustine in the uh, 5th century, the 400s, he, to me, has the best illustration of the Trinity. And he even says now, every way to try to understand falls far short because our minds can't even begin to comprehend uh, the nature of God. He's eternal. But his illustration is uh, one of the best. He says the Trinity uh, God is like a, a candle flame, the flame on a candle. He says that flame is the Father and the light from that flame is the Son and the heat from that flame is like the Holy Spirit. Those three are one. You cannot separate the flame from the light and from the heat. And the light cannot be separated from the flame or the heat. And the light and the heat uh, emanate from that flame. Well, he goes into a whole lot more detail than that. But notice as you do your study, the things that Jesus says about the Holy Spirit, beginning in chapter 14, verse 15, 16, and 17. He says, he dwells with you. And so Jesus is saying, that's me. And the Father will send him, and he dwells with you, and he will be with you forever. So, beloved, take, take a comfort and in the revelation that Jesus Christ is with you by the Holy Spirit who dwells in you. He is with you. He is in you. And he always, forever, will be. And since he is, he will guide you through this storm victoriously, growing with a stronger and healthier faith. Amen. May God make it happen. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the Holy Spirit. And teach us this week, O oh Lord, teach us. We want to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And to know you through Christ and the glorious doctrine of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach us, reveal to us this truth. And we pray, God, against 
whatever Satan is doing with this virus. And Father, we pray for everything that you're doing with this virus because it's all good. And it is good that I was afflicted that I might learn your statutes. We want to pray that prayer on the other side of this. It is good that I was afflicted that I might learn your statutes. Thank you, God, for the spirit and the word and your people. Uh, bless your people today is our prayer in the name which is above every name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and hallelujah.